Don't be fooled by the generic looking packaging of this mini digital voice recorder by UQI QUE because inside the box we have one of the coolest little gadgets we've personally seen here at OS Reviews. It's small, it's tiny, it's elegant, and comparable to the iPod Shuffle in many ways. It's crafted out of aluminum and is very easy to use. In addition to being a great digital voice recorder with a high definition microphone that's great for lectures and also for conferences, it's also an MP3 player, so you have 8GB of built in storage for playing back your favorite tracks. It's again very easy to to use and has 10 hours of battery life performance and the most incredible part is it only charges in under 30 minutes so you have a ultra fast charging speed on this device. Otherwise, you also have a few nice additions in the packaging. For example, there is a USB charger that also used, is also used for syncing. It works with both Mac and PC plug and play, and it connects to the 3.5mm jack, which is the same port used for listening to music with. The device can also be used as a flash drive. There's also a noise isolating pair of earbuds included in the packaging, which is a nice addition we don't typically see. It's actually a bit more premium than some standalone headphones we've seen in the past, so it's a nice bonus thrown in by the manufacturer. We have nice silicon tips, and sound quality is actually decent. A nice surprise considering the low price of the digital voice recorder in the first place. There's also a gold-plated connection on the other end and an anti-tangle wire, which is also very nice. Taking a look at the design of the digital voice recorder. Now this is a voice recorder first and an mp3 player second, which means that the emphasis is going to be on that microphone, which does a great job again in picking up volume if you, even if you're in noisier conditions or you're uh, further away from a speaker in a classroom environment. The design of the device uh, foremost is again very elegant and easy to use. On the top there is the 3.5mm jack for listening to music and also for charging and syncing. There's a power on and off switch that we'll explain further uh, in a bit. And there's also two keys, uh, a volume up and a volume down key, but they do more than just adjust the sound. Tapping on the volume key once actually allows you to skip tracks. It goes to the next song if you're listening to music, or the next track if you have a voice recording that you're listening to. Holding on the volume key for a few seconds longer changes the volume up. Holding on the volume volume down key for a few seconds changes the volume down. Tapping on the minus key one time allows you to toggle back and forth between your digital voice recordings and also the mp3 songs that you have stored. So they are in two separate folders on this mp3 player. There's also a LED notification light and also the microphone is located in that one spot in the center. Now coming back to that power on and off switch, if I power the unit on without any headphones plugged into the port, it will automatically begin recording sound. So if I try that, if I plug, if I start the, the digital voice recorder, you'll see the notification light start flashing red a few times, and that shows that we have begun recording sound. And it will automatically stop when I turn the unit off, and also will cycle. So if I don't power the unit off, it's going to keep on recording until the capacity, 8 gigabytes, is fully stored. It's going to erase what's on there and start recording all over again. Uh, for the most part, this is a very discreet way of recording audio. It's fast. All you need to do is power the unit on, and it automatically starts. Powering the unit off uh, saves your file, and you are ready to go to listen back to it on the device or drag it onto your computer for more editing options. However, if I have a 3.5mm jack like a headphone plugged into the side there, and now I turn the unit on, instead of starting the voice recording functionality, uh, which is set there by default, it's going to start flashing blue a few times, and this means that instead of recording audio, we're now playing back our tracks. So now we're acting as a digital mp3 player. It's going to automatically start with the mp3 songs first, and then if you want to press on the minus key, it's going to toggle into your digital voice recordings. I have to say that the entire user interface is very easy to use, despite the fact that buttons correspond to multiple features on the unit, it's very easy to get used to, and after I played around with it for a few minutes, I got the hang of it, and overall it's a nice coherent system that is easy to learn and easy to use. As far as being an MP3 player is concerned, you will, no you will notice that there are a few flaws. For example, pressing on the plus key skips to the next track, but there's no way to go to the previous track. So if you have a very large song collection, a very large song library, you actually can't cycle through your tracks very easily, and you have to listen to it one by one rather than shuffle it through. With that being said, the audio quality on the UQIQ digital voice recorder is excellent. Songs are crystal crisp, and the overall experience is definitely satisfactory, especially for the size of this thing again, which is absolutely tiny. So if I have some more objects to compare it to, this is a triple A battery. You can see that it's a lot larger than this MP3 player slash digital voice recorder. And if I have something such as a coin, here's a quarter, 
you can see how it's also a lot smaller than the size so of the actual recording unit. was another impressive facet of this device. Uh, again, the microphone on here is excellent, so it picks up sound even if it's further away from the MP3 player than you'd think. And even if you move the unit around in the air, it doesn't create any muffled sounds uh, throughout your recording. So it's ultra sensitive, but at the same time, it removes a lot of the background noise for you. And the experience is definitely crystal crisp. And it's one of the better digital voice recorders we've seen, especially on a such a small portfolio on something that's so discreet and easy to hide and forget that it's even there in the first place. So some other statistics for you, you can actually record up to 96 hours of high definition audio before the eight gigabytes is filled up. And again, battery life is about 10 hours or so. So you can get quite a bit of usage on this before you need to recharge it again, taking only 30 minutes to do so by plugging it into your computer or into the wall. In conclusion, we have to say that the UQIQ Mini Digital Voice Recorder, again, is one of the better gadgets that we've seen uh, just because it's so elegant, it's so well crafted and defined. Uh, it has excellent build quality, has excellent performance both as a digital voice recorder and an MP3 player. And although there are a few flaws here and there, like the fact I can't skip backwards in my music, and it's not going to be the best MP3 player for people with large libraries of songs, in general it does a great job of uh, doing both, both tasks, recording audio as well as playing them back. So we're pretty Pretty impressed, especially for the low cost. You can check out more details in our official written review, but this has been our video. Thanks for watching, Care OS Review.